Hi, this is Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and today we're going to take a look at Air Display for the iPad. When the iPad first came out, I saw an application called iDisplay, and what it promised was it would give you a virtual display off your Macintosh, and I was so excited. It was one of the first apps I downloaded, and it failed miserably. Well, the folks at Avatron has done a better job with that uh, premise of making a virtual display for your Macintosh. Uh, but if you have a new MacBook Pro, there are some issues. But, you know, Air Display is probably one of the fastest uh, virtual uh, display extenders that I've seen. Um, it's $9.99 on the iTunes App Store. And like I said, the update, the refresh rate is really, really good. Uh, there's just some issues with the new MacBook Pros. Uh, what I'd like to do now is just short, sort of show you how this works. It's a very, very cool app. Um, so the first thing you have to do once you've downloaded the app on your iPad is you've got to download some companion software on your Mac. And let me show you how that works. So I've downloaded the Air Display um, companion software on the Mac here. And we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our system preferences. And you see it's right here, Air Display. And it's very simple. You just turn it on. You go to, you go to this, which says device. And we're going to select my iPad here. And as soon as we've done that, it's ready to go. As soon as you've got that going, you can go to your displays here and you can look at your arrangement. And I'm going to arrange it over here. Pretty cool, huh? Now let me show you how this works. Okay, so now I've got iDisplay running. I've connected via Wi Fi to my MacBook Pro. And as you, as you see here, I have another external display over here. Um, and I can't believe how fast Air Display is. I'm going to launch Firefox, and you'll see Firefox launches in here. I can move my mouse over here. And look how fast we're scrolling. Uh, I can go to CNN.com. And the other cool thing is it becomes a touch screen as well. So if I want to um, click on a story, I can just click here, and it'll go. It'll go to the story. Um, I can't believe how fast Air Display is. It's really, really fast. Uh, when I tried iDisplay, it was very, it was really unusual, usable to be quite honest with you. Um, but as you can see here, you know, I can, uh, I can load up any, I can load up a PDF. Uh, here's a PDF. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here, and I've arranged this to where I can just drag this over here. And like I said, I can't believe how fast the, the display is. It's really, really nice. Um, you know, for nine bucks, you have an external monitor. It's very, very, very cool. And like I said, you can touch. It's touch screen active, so you can just touch things here. So very, very, very nice. Uh, the folks at Avatron Software has done a great, great job with Air Display. Now, I have found one bug. And if you have the new MacBook Pro, let me close this real quick. Close this quick time. And let me go ahead and, and undo this external monitor here. And it should update here in a second. Um, I have found if you have the automatic graphic switching uh, card, video card, in the new MacBook Pros, um, if you switch from NVIDIA to Intel only, you get a black little pop. Let me show you how this works again. I'm going to go here and switch to NVIDIA. If you switch from Intel to NVIDIA, there's not a problem. But if you switch from NVIDIA to Intel, you get a little black pop here. And it's definitely the, um, the server, the, the Air Display server software on the new MacBook Pros. Once I've uninstalled that, uh, it doesn't happen. So what I've done to remedy to this, I've just downloaded this great little application called graphics card status and what it does is it does the switching for you instead of automatic switching because it's really weird if you're in Safari and you click on a YouTube without the GFX card status installed you'll see that black pop um, whereas I with this piece of software here this graphic card status I can switch from Intel or Nvidia myself and I'm hoping down the road Avatron software will fix this bug it's a bug they know about it and um, and I know they've got to be trying to fix it. Um, but
But for $9, if you don't have the newest MacBook Pros, if you've got uh, a Mac Pro, a big old Mac Pro, and you're just looking for an external display, I cannot get over how fast Air Display is. It works, it's great. Uh, there's just a little bug uh, with the new MacBook Pros. So this is Air Display uh, from Avatron Software. It's $9.99 on the iTunes App Store. And if you're just looking for, if you've got an iPad and you're looking just for a nice external uh, display, this is your app. It's $9.99. So this has been Mr. Pence from tapcritic.com, and I'll see you soon.